is making me do the chore. Oh, oh, so Itachi, so Itachi's a chef? Imagine having Itachi as your older brother. That sounds amazing. The most disrespectful moments in anime history six. Cause God no, bro. This is when it just went from zero to a hundred. This man's Popovich started whooping. Bro started to hit it with the combos. Hit put, good check, nigga. I'm just gonna say, Dragon Ball Z really had to make the most abusive scene in the anime against uh, a woman. Dragon Ball sex is a curatorial on my sexes. That's that's all. I'm, that's the conclusion that I came to. Videl did get pounded though. Oh. They they obliterated her. They did her so dirty. By a nobody too. Actually, I take back what I just said about Videl. But Cheetah gets bitched the whole uh, the whole show. That's Vegeta's main character trait: getting bitched, being second place, and getting bitched. That's all he's there for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history six. The series that we observe some of the most outlandish, vile, and disgusting acts ever committed and to be seen by the human eye. And since this is episode six, why not put six moments instead of four? Because y'all be liking these long ass videos. I don't know why, but hey, I mean, if you like them, I guess I'll keep on doing them. But anyways, but, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. All right. Naruto, oh god, it's starting off with some mid. Golly, it's starting off with mid. I have faith in you, I got faith in you, uh, CJ. But two Naruto's, bro, come on now. And Bleach, oh my god, it's disgusting. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, our first moment Itachi, little bro, and Sasuke. Ah, yes, the time where we didn't know anything. The time that we thought that this man killed his entire clan for absolutely no reason at all. But anyways, as we know, Itachi and Kisame pulled up to the leaf. And they yeah. was not playing games, bro. Before they even got to Naruto, this man Itachi put Kakashi in the nastiest genjutsu. He was a mean little crucifix. For 72 hours. Bro, put this man on the stake. Absolutely torturing, bro. And it was—they like, think they, they think they're slick. It's 72 hours for a reason. Jesus, uh, reviving in three days—they not slick. That's crazy. Like, oh. Kakashi, Jesus. Mm. Kakashi, don't give up on me now. We're just getting started. We still have 71 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds left. And this man Kakashi, like, oh no, nah, bro, you telling me it's only been one second? Oh, me! oh my god! So after he finished torturing this man for basically three days in the water, Sukiyomi, bro, pulls up on Naruto. How did he not die? Like, hey, what's good, little nigga? Go on and uh, take a step outside for us real quick. Like even though he was getting he was uh, getting abused mentally, you can still die from that. Like if you think you're dead, you can you can die just from you thinking that you're dead. Like so, uh, Kakashi should have died there. That's plot armor. Yes, that's right. Mm, Sami had us drooling from the mouth. It can't wait to gobble you up and swallow you. Yo, Kisame, shut the f up. Uh, this nigga pain really partnered me with this zesty ass shark. You're such a buzzkill, Itachi. Have some fun. So then Sasuke pulls up, and bro is absolutely livid. Don't touch Sasuke's man like, like that. Oh, wow, look who it is. If it is my adolescent pain in the ass little brother. <laughs> Looks like you're not that much of a bitch than the last time I saw your little punk ass. So this man Sasuke just rushes this man with a Chidori. But bro slaps his sh to the side and grabs his hand. And he's like, wow. <laughs> Is this all you got, little nigga? I really left your sorry ass alive for this. So bro shatters his wrist and looks at him and he says, I have no interest in you, little boy. Okay. So takes this man across the entire hallway and he got this man slumped sitting in tornado drill position up against the wall. But then Sasuke. That was y'all tornado drill position. That's what y'all did? That's not what I had to do. Our tornado drills, we had to toot it up. We had to, we had to go and we had to toot that thing up. Am I tripping? Am I the only one who had to do that? Bro, these kids lucky. I felt so vulnerable. But then Sasuke got up again and started talking. So we started running at man's. But Itachi was like, little boy, if you don't sit the down, then bro started beating him. And Naruto's just watching it like, oh my God, this nigga is beating his ass. <laughs> what was the purpose of this? Family. Even Jiraiya's like, damn, <laughs> could it be me? You're gonna have to get sick because jump me. 
Then Itachi picks this man. What is the purpose? Something on the wall. And he says, oh, as weak as ever, I see. Looks like you still a little punk ass bitch. Allow me to remind you of that day. Uh, hello? Hey, yo, where is everybody at? There better not be no damn prank. The SpongeBob steps is hilarious. What the fuck? Oh. Oh god, why is everybody passed out right now? Oh. Oh god, no. Auntie? Uncle? Oh fuck. Oh f I'm not gonna lie, I think Sasuke sucked because if my brother ever killed my family, he would have been dead on the spot. But I guess Sasuke's just so fucking weak. But I guess that he is second fiddle, huh? He is second fiddle in, in this show, so it is what it is. It's called Naruto and not Sasuke, but shit, if I was Sasuke, I would have been the main character. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> the nigga's dead! <gasps> I just teleported to this big ass fing door. Why am I shaking in my boots? Wait, wait a minute. I don't even have my shoes. Why are my toes out? Hello? Why are your calves wrapped? Yeah. Oh, what do we have here? If it isn't my little <laughs> boy. Hey. Hey, bro, what the f going on? <laughs> Nigga, are you blind? <laughs> I obviously killed these niggas. But, 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 but why? <laughs> Oh, so little do you know, Sasuke. To save you the trouble, I'll start off with mother. Okay. That lazy, lousy bitch. Mm. Always making me do the chore. Oh, oh, so Itachi, so Itachi's a chef? Imagine having Itachi as your older brother. That sounds amazing. Wait, hold up, hold up. Like, never mind. I just realized what I said. Folding the laundry. Washing the dishes, Sasuke. Do you know how Atashi old? would be a bomb ass housewife, bro? Like he wants to over over here strength and be strong and all this nonsense. Like nigga, if you don't just stay in the kitchen, old that shit gets. And with no, he could have took ramen guy's allowance. spot immediately. I'm not gonna lie. Brother, those are just chores. Shut up. Up. Oh, no. And then father, this lazy clown of a bum. Just the other day, I caught him flirting with a red-haired woman from the Uzumaki clan. To say the least, little brother, he was cheating. You, you killed the family, and, and we're criticizing a cheating father. Now, I don't like to compare two tragedies, right? But cheating and murder Ain't on a line in my mind, but that's, that's just me. I don't know. I, I, impossible. No, Sasuke. Very possible. Now I shall make you watch them die for 24 hours. <laughs> you smell that, Sasuke? That Uchiha pack is hitting. <laughs> and nobody in real life is doing anything about this? They're, they're just watching? Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. I think what he did to Kakashi was worse. I don't know. I don't know. Like, watching your family die, that's sad. For 24 hours, horrible. Kakashi got stabbed on a crucifix for 72 hours. <laughs> he got stabbed <laughs> for 72 hours. I don't... <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. I don't care what you say. That I, I think that's worse. Our next moment. Killer B dog walking Sasuke. Okay, bro, bro, I swear I didn't mean to put Sasuke getting dogged twice in a row, but this moment right here, you knew when I first started this series, this was going to come eventually, but. And this is how you know Sasuke is like, he references Vachita a lot. This, this is how you can tell because he's getting bitched multiple times. In a lot, really, just throughout the whole series, he's constantly getting bitched and that's how, that's how he mirrors Vachita. You know, that's the symbolism there. Anyways, Sasuke and his new little ragtag crew are basically what I like to call them Orochimaru's illegitimate children. Decide to pull up on B. Now this man B just vibing, bro. He's just chilling, relaxing, enjoying his day, throwing some bars out and sh And then his ops just pull up to his front door. Hey boy, 
You the eight tails ginger kid, right? <laughs> Not just eight tails. Lord, eight tails the fuck. What the fuck y'all niggas doing on my goddamn lawn, man? Simple. We're about to jump. This shit reminds me oh, of okay, Boondocks. Okay, I get the situation. But before we do that, though, y'all heard that new white spice? That what? You thought I was feeling you? That's all, folks. That nigga got much. Nigga eat it. He eat it for lunch. Bitch, I'm about to get what I want. Like, makes my booty hole itch. Hey, bro, if you don't shut the fuck up. Nobody ain't trying to hear that shit. Man, shut your hating ass up. You just mad because you ain't a munch. <laughs> God, somebody hold me back. I'm about to suck the fuck out of this goofy ass nigga. Goofy. <laughs> Let me see. Through my telescope, I see one, two, three, four. Four goofy ah niggas on my front door. Hey, bro, how what? about we just quit playing and jump this Dr. Seuss Horton his who rhyming ass nigga? You ain't gonna mm. tell me twice, cut. So they just start jumping B and everybody's just getting molly walked. Bro started twirling the sword on his neck. And what the fuck? I don't know. I think that's one. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life. This is actually one of the craziest shits I think I've ever seen. This is insane to me. On his neck. It was oh, just breaking man's like a Beyblade. He packed this man Jugo up so fast, threw him like a piece of trash, then proceeded to just start dissing him. So then Sasuke finally stepped up. He was like, all right, then, come on, run that fade then. So they start doing all the spinning and stuff. And then they end up stopping. And this man B pulls out a whole ass notepad and starts writing in the middle of a fight. Nah, 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 nah. Like imagine, imagine a fucking rapper. You have a Lil Wayne. He just shot, he just shot your block up. And right before he, he successfully pulls out the pulls off the drive by, he just starts writing his notepad. Shot nigga block up. I'm not gonna get locked up. It's in my ass. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my bad, my boy. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that right there. <laughs> my bad, my boy. <laughs> I just had to write down this fire ass verse before I cook your ass. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. <laughs> no. No, 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 bro. This man took the time to start writing down a whole verse mid fight. The straight up lack of respect is appalling. Imagine you fighting a nigga and he say, Oh, my bad, bro. My mama calling. Can you hold real quick? Bro, stop the fade because he know he's still going to whoop his ass. <laughs> Nah, bro. That is wild. That's just disrespectful as hell. So then this man starts using nine sword style and just starts running Sasuke's pocket. Bro is bagging up for his life. Zoro can never. <laughs> Zoro literally cannot. <laughs> like, Zoro, Zoro, like, absolutely not. Poor, poor Zoro. Fuck it! And Sasuke, like, oh, God. My shark guy can't keep up with this nigga. So bro started tossing him around, countered his Chidori, and it was like, uh, like a butterfly sting like a bee. So then Sasuke gets bailed out for the first time in this fight. And I say first time because this man got bailed out multiple times this fight. So then he started munching on Karin. So then they was like, all right, bro, there's only one way to beat this. Sasuke's a vampire. Why Why was he? Why, why, did, why did that happen? They needed some fan service, a fan service by the Twilight lovers. Like only Twilight niggas saw that and got horny. Man, we just gonna have to jump him. So they started jumping him and this man is still teeing off on him. Look at this movement diff. So they finally ended up landing a hit, so he dipped off for a minute. Bro was like, hmm, so persistent, bum ass niggas, bro. We smoke that Zaza, just motherfucker. That Uchi hot pack be hit hard, just motherfucker. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so bro goes eight tails, blasts these niggas off of the mountain. Sasuke tries to hit him with a Genjutsu, but bro bypasses it and gives this man the nastiest clothesline, bro. That nigga's throat is gone, shattered, eviscerated. That Naruto would be so upset. Broken. And they like, oh my Naruto god. Naruto would be impossible. so upset. Sasuke's getting his pockets ran. Where the f is the plot armor, nigga? So then B goes into full on eight tails mode. Then he starts fighting Sugetsu in this big ass kaiju battle. His, his tailed beast is so disgusting, bro. Y'all paired a bull with an octopus. This is, this is ridiculous. Like, I know the butthole looks disgusting on this thing. Stop it! I was like, who the f you think you is, Aquaman, nigga? I eat deep amphibian, motherfucker. I got something for you. These niggas just got yeeted? Did they just get yeeted? Hey, bro, what was that? Ugh, I think B hit him with that yeet, Bill. 
Oh my goodness, bro. He absolutely blasted this man. He literally turned this man into nut. Pause. He blasted this man. He literally turned this man into nut. I knew, like, Yeet, when he did that bell shit, it, it got, it turned the whole internet up. But he was making niggas nut like that? Oh. Uh. Yeet was making y'all nut like that? Y'all completely liquefied your entire being, your entire, your entire essence turned into semen? Pause, but look at him. Even Sasuke, like, oh my god, bro. We ran up on the wrong nigga. But I mean, we all know how this fight ended. That plot armor kicked in for Sasuke and he started burning man with a Matarasu. But come on, bro. We all know, bro, this man got whooped. If none of his crew was there, his ass would have been grass. Because the fact that this man took the time out of his day to write some bars down right in front of your face, then proceeded to whoop your ass? Nah, bro, you should have been six feet under. Multiple times he should have been dead. Multiple. All right. Uh, That's neither here or there. Program. Grim jar running Ichigo's pockets. Well, I mean, since uh, Bleach is back, why not put some Bleach in here? But first of all, we need to acknowledge the fact that this man Grim Jow is a absolute smoke demon. I yes. mean, you can tell this is a crazy ass that just by his last name. Jagger Jack? I can't even pronounce that shit. <laughs> that just sounds racist as fuck, bro. He, sound, he sounds like he supports Nazis with that name. That's how you know he a demon. But anyways, Waco Mundo's most notorious op ended up pulling up on Ichigo going rookie and dog wasn't wasting no time bro was like i right, listen up uh which one of y'all the strongest like straight up like don't waste my time so bro straight oh. up fist is rookie in the stomach oh she looking like my stomach hurt and grim job like oh huh. guess it ain't your weak ass go ahead and uh, move to the side for me will you oh he had his fist in her and just and just was twisting that bit okay so then ichigo tried to attack him but bro stopped it with his wrist and bro's like bro if you don't get this fat ass butter knife off of me hey bro for real though uh when you gonna use your body that nigga pinky long as hell oh my god okay now this man has Kawhi leonard hands i don't know who has more plot armor though sasuke or ichigo okay like for real, bro. Come on now, transform. You bullshit. You wasting time. Now come on now, chop chop before I put a hole in your ass like that bitch over there. So they started to get the scrapping, and this man Ichigo looked like he could just not keep up at all. Bro grabbed his sword mid swing and looked at him like, really? Is this your Bankai nigga? Man, if you don't get this sorry ass shit out of my face, bro was for real throwing man's like a rag doll. Then he read this man's movement like a book, grabbed his sword mid swing again. Then he kicked the life out of bro, made him do a whole 360. And he said, Trunks is never getting his sword grabbed like that. I'm just saying, when was the last time we seen Zoro, Zoro get his sword grabbed? Just, just grab like that? Mm -mm. Could never happen to Trunks nor Zoro. That's why Ichigo's a bum in the worst uh, MC in the big three. Man's flying, doing backflips and shit. Made him run a red light. Then man's blissed him and kicked the soul out of him. And Ichigo looking like, damn, maybe this soul reaper life ain't for me. But no, no. You see, it just got worse from here. Grim Jow started walking him down, picked him up, and started laying the hands on him. Like, yo, it got so bad, it started playing this sad-ass music in the background, and Ichigo was just thinking about his life. Ha! <laughs> got slapped by another nigga. Rukia got fisted right in front of him. Damn. I guess I'm just not him right now. God dog boy, that all you got? You was not big creepy. You sure you the protagonist? Cause that was oh. a little too easy, my boy. Hey boy, time to go home. Oh shit. Toast, what's your blonde black ass doing here? Hey boy, Ozzy mad. I ain't gonna hold you, cuz. We gotta get back to base pronto. Shit, sure, alright then. Hey, hey, boy. Exhibit A of how Ichigo just gets bailed out out of every shitty situation he gets put in. Before I leave though. Hey boy, you best remember my name, the Waco Mundo Demon. You best come back and get it back in blood or else you a bitch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, next up on the program. Spopovich rocking Videl's world. That's yeah, a crazy I'm title. This one out. That is a like corn said, hub title. The B one. 
This was just inevitable. Ladies and gentlemen, the most brutal beatdown in anime history. So as we know, it's the World Martial Arts Tournament and Videl has to fight Spoke of it. Like, hold no, up. There's no way they're gonna allow this man who clearly looks like he has he's on steroids. He has an M on his forehead. They didn't question this man's background, his life at all. They just let him participate. Like, like these tournaments have no, there's no security for these tournaments. They just be letting whoever fight. It's the World Martial Arts Tournament and that's what happens when you have a dog as your president. Why do they have a dog as they press? Hell has to fight Spokovich. And yeah, <laughs> something was wrong with this shit from the jump. I mean, look at this nigga. Motherfucker look like a buff ass crackhead with an M tattooed on his head. So they started fighting, but Dell was teeing off on man. It looked like easy money at the beginning, but something was terribly wrong. Bro was not going down at all. And I love how Goku and Vegeta were the first people to notice something was wrong. Goku looked at this be like, yo, you seeing this shit? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that M tattoo on his forehead is kind of vibe. <laughs> I think I want one. So of course this man Gohan was oblivious. I was like, yeah, that's my girl, y'all. <laughs> this is what happens when uh you you get you grow up without a dad. Like like he had a dad during his childhood years, absolutely. But through his teen years, he didn't have one. And that's why Gohan's so fucking stupid and useless now. The only reason why he's useful is because they gave him some random ass power up in Super. They gave everyone random power ups in Super. There is no way these side characters should be keeping up with Goku and Vegeta who never stopped training. But all of a sudden, Gohan who hasn't trained in like 3 billion years can keep up with them. Super is ass, bro. You got this, boo. But then Goku said, Yo, she should quit right now. Wait, Dad, what you mean? Yeah, Goku, what the f you mean about that? Krillin, shut the f up. I'm talking to my son right now. Gohan, tell your girl to quit right now, or you gonna regret it, my boy. Look at her, she's getting her shit. <laughs> hey, girl, you best get the f up. I ain't letting no pussy ass bitch marry my son. Yeah, that's right. You shouldn't <laughs> raise your, you so shouldn't raise your son like a pussy ass right. bitch. So bitch then then. Gohan started yeah. to get happy again, but then this man Goku said, Stupid idiot. She should just fell out the fucking ring. Dad, come on, bro. You've been gone for seven fucking years and you already caused some problems and shit. Yep, and guess what? I'm still your daddy, bitch. Father knows best. I mean, look at him, Gohan. He doesn't even look sane. So then Videl kicked this man's head so far. His head did a 180. But then bro got back up and fixed his head. Nope, nope, nope. Nigga this turned into an went. owl. Oh, God, no, bro. This is when it just went from zero to 100. This man's Popovich started whooping. Bro started to hit it with the combos. Hit but good check. Oh, I lost three Jesus. And Vanilla like she weighs 80 pounds. Bro started hitting her with more combos. Then he broke her back. Then bro started beating her. No, bro, this is stupid. Bro picked her up again and said, and everybody in the crowd can't watch no more. Everybody like, hey, yo, just stop the fight, bro. Then he hit him with the knee. Oh, my ah. God. GG, GG, GG. Game over, nigga. Then this man, Gohan. At this point in life, I didn't like Fidel. Why well, I didn't have a reason to like Fidel. She was just some random thought that they introduced. And she just had, she served no purpose besides being a stalker and annoying. So when I saw this happening, I didn't feel nothing. Started getting mad, bro. But Goku was like, I, 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 don't do it. I told you to tell her to quit, but he didn't want to listen to me. Now you're going to have to watch it. Bro, this was just <laughs> terrible. Bro started stomping on her head. But then the other crackhead, Yamu, came in and said, Hey, Spoke bitch. Quit playing with a little stupid ass and uh, just go ahead and kick her off the ring. Oh, man. Oh, oh it's over. Thank you, baby Jesus. So then Gohan came out, and this man, Spoke bitch, looked at him like, <laughs> How does it feel that your girl got her back blown out by me before you? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next up, Ayana Koji body in Class C. So this man Ryun, right? He got old girl. I stopped watching Classroom of Elite after episode six of the newest season because it was so damn boring. Oh my god, it was boring. It's like everything was moving so slow, and I'm like, I'm already, I'm already six episodes in, and this is so. Back. I don't know. It's something about having in an MC who just refuses to show any type of emotion. That shit's lame. It's lame to me. Like you can't show you're happy. 
You have to just be dark and mysterious. Like you're, bro, you're fucking lame, bro. Up in here, they abhor. Bro, pouring this cold ass water on her in this cold room, trying to give her hypothermia or something. Any he that shit. Lord, somebody please come and help this little girl. So they trying to get this man Ayana Koji to come out because he's a mastermind of his class. So bro pulls up outside of the place and this big ass nigga, God damn, what the fuck is they feeding you? What are you doing at some random high school in Japan? You need to take your ass and I don't know where you want to go, the NBA or the NFL. I mean, shit, you could choose my nigga. That man's like, part of the 0.1% of black people oh, no, in, no, in no, Japan. Don't make me do it, bro. Hey, hey, hey! It's bad! <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Ain't no way in hell you the mastermind. Bitch, should I say that you can speak while you wouldn't miss in my presence? Uh, uh, no, no. That's right with all that jibber jabbery shit. Shut the f up. Oh. So I got this text message that one of my tools from my toolbox has gone missing. Wait, ho hold on, tool? Yes, <laughs> tool the f You know, goodness and will, I've been using her since day one. I literally set her up to get jumped, God. watched her get her ass beat, then blackmailed her right after it. Hey, bro, that's kind of devious. Yes, I know. Cause I'm a devious ass nigga. All right, bro, you may be devious, but uh, you about to get jumped. <laughs> jumped? No. You see, you got it all wrong. Because all of you have fallen into my trap. I personally am about to be all y'all asses uh -huh. with no effort. Please don't jump my baby. Come get your ass off me. <laughs> okay, I like you, boy. Hey, sick of it, take his chain. <laughs> Nothing personal. But I'm about to run your pocket. <laughs> Just, Jesus, help me. Like, he looks so <laughs> bored doing on, it, boy. too, bro. I, I, he I just looks bored. He looks boring. Prospect. I hate him, bro. I <laughs> oh, oh, sweet Jesus. Ah. Get your hands off that fucking Negro, man. Stop hitting him. He's down. He's done. Racist bitch, bro. And people love this character. People are like, oh, I can't wait for a classroom of elite to come back. This is what y'all waited for, racist fucks. <laughs> Not bad. He just beat Albert, a D1 prospect going to Alabama to play linebacker. So which one of y'all next, Mrs. Bowlcut or you, nigga? <laughs> I know Cabrera. I mean, it's good. One hit is crazy. One hit is crazy, bro. <laughs> now, it's just me and you, fuck nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come in from my fade. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> come on, bro. Don't tell me they hyped you up all this time. When did this happen? Trash. Episode 12? Yeah. It took the whole entire game. show for anything interesting to happen. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you like that? I got you pinned on a wall. What even episode is this? Your hot ass breath. Get your unhygienic ass off me. <laughs> Perfect. With the wrong nigga. So yeah, this man Ryun just got humbled real quick. Bro took top mount and just started beating him. But while bro was getting the sense beat out of him, he just started rambling about like just feelings and stuff. Bro was like, how do you feel, huh? How do you what? feel? And this man Ayana Koji looking at him like, uh, excuse me, but uh, the fuck are you talking about? Why should I show any emotion against a weak ass trash like you? Just go ahead and just shut your mouth. Does he ever so emotion like people who read the manga or light novel or whatever the fuck it has? Does he always stay this lame, cold hearted nigga? Or does he actually become interesting? But nah, I and a Koji beat the soul out of this nigga. Beat him physically and mentally. Look at him after the fight. Bro looking like a Debbie Downer. All his spirit is just gone. Bro got his ass beat so bad he was about he to He looked like he about to start going to church. Right here like, eh, girl, what you, he looked like he look like he's gonna he going he gonna go straight to church, bro. Ah, you bitch ass nigga. He's a child of God now. Ma'am, this little Martinez motherfucker is out of control and he needs to be put down now. Oh, this is Cyberpunk. Calm down, I know. 
That's why I'm calling him. Cyberpunk in the first three minutes had this robot doctor having a masturbator, like a, a VR masturbation. That is crazy to me. How does that, how you introduce your show? I didn't know what I was getting into. I never played Cyberpunk. I didn't know nothing about it. I just know Cyberpunk was getting hyped and I'm seeing this doctor with VR and like this little thing jerking him off. I'm sitting here like, bro, what is this? Who is him, Jerome? You know exactly who I'm talking about. Him. Oh, 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 God, ma'am. Oh, hell no. Yes, that's right, Jerome. Him. And we don't even have to call him because he's already here. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Hey, yo, when did this big ass Decepticon ass get in here? Oh, Jerome. He's been here the whole time. He's mm. just so powerful. You can't even sense his presence. That don't even make sense. That, that, that makes no sense. Exactly. <laughs> Jerome, can you process anything with all that chrome in your face? You walk up to me with breasts in my face. And you still expect me to be caring about whatever the fuck you're saying? Get your breasts out my face before I... Burst. Dome, this is an anime, nigga. Nothing makes sense. Capiche? Adam, get your ass up. Time to go to work, you full metal nigga. Take Jerome with you. Yeah. I'm not an alchemist, bitch. So just call me. Nice single nigga. character in Cyberpunk full looks good. Full metal nigga. Full metal, metal nigga. nigga. Oh god, why did I sign up for this job? Stand back, Jerome. <laughs> you see, my evil plan. <laughs> Shut your mouth, fugly. Oh, oh, Adam Smasher, please help me! Excuse me, but who the f are you? <sighs> Pardon? You ugly three-eyed looking nigga! You better oh. shut the f up! <laughs> he has, he has four eyes. He has four eyes. He has four eyes. If I count correctly, one, two, three, four. Put a mother bullet in your mouth. Go! Please! Did I tell you not to speak? <laughs> so you're the full metal nigga, Adam Smasher. Damn right, boy. And you're a nobody. Do you want to know why you're the main character of a prequel? Simple. Because you don't make it to the actual game. Damn. That's bullshit. Kid, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I, I stopped watching Cyberpunk when they started doing all this extra additions to his body because I'm like, now he looks lame. I don't like the concept of them changing their body to machinery. That look, it looks whack to me. So I stopped watching it. Time. Just shut the fuck up and let me make you a pack. Five minutes later. Oh, baby, you so fine. When we get back to the crib, I'm beating up them booty cheeks. Welcome back here, Romeo and Juliet. The star cross sons of bitches. Shakespeare made you a pack and so will I. Oh my God, y'all made it. Now get in the car so we can have our happy ending. Lord have mercy. Man. Um. Go through all this shit for your um. Guys. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Foolish girl. No. Challenge me. No. See, Please, no. I am no. about to the shit out of you and drag my metal chrome nuts across your fucking No. Body. Nothing personal. But I have a reputation and a name that I have to keep in good state. No. Adam, smash her. They killed the best character in the show, bro. I liked her the most. I'm so glad I didn't finish watching this garbage, bro. Oh my God. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed oh, off. Martinez, come out to play. Don't you want to end up like your little girly friend? Smash your man to a piece of meat. Can't even show the boyfriend. Smash the man to a piece of meat. Interesting. Can't even show the body or else I'll probably get a guideline strike. You big team too soon to be. <laughs> so you came to play. Your metal cheeks are mine. Wait, you have a saying devastating? Damn right, little nigga. You think you special or some shit? I told you, you're just a prequel character. <sighs> Look at you on the ground. Now get ready to bend. They over. all getting oh, fucked up? No. Uh, <laughs> are you trying to hack me, bitch? Mm. 
I have two-step authentication. Fuck off of my server. Oh god. Access no. denied. <laughs> <sighs> Where the hell do you think you're going, pussy nigga? <sighs> Get the fuck off of my screen! Eat my middle dick! I feel like I'm watching a mecha anime. Look at you. You're just scrap. I told you you wouldn't make the main game. Your sorry ass will just be remembered as a drink in the bar that nobody goes to. <laughs> at least my jack is a DLC. Yeah, like anybody's gonna wear that shit. Eat a dick. So the main character dies at the end of uh, Cyberpunk? Wait, so does everyone just die at the end of Cyberpunk? Okay, okay, so Cyberpunk does have a trash ass ending. Thank God I didn't watch it because that would have pissed me off. And it's only 10 episodes too, so I'm watching 10 episodes thinking it's gonna be good and then once I end on some mid BS, yeah. Now I know for sure I'm not finishing that.